that's rather the craziest thing. Gummy worms are actually a great post-workout snack. Hear me out. They're a high glycemic carbohydrate, which means they help repair your body. And your body is in a fat burning stage after your workout, so it burns up all that sugar and doesn't store it as fat. So I figured, hey, I'm going to do five push-ups and I'm going to drink my gummy worms. My name's Josh and you're watching Half-Ass Beer Review. Tonight's beer is a can of sour worms. This is a smoothie style sour ale with tart cherries, lime, peach, and passion fruit. Comes from 450 North Brewing Company out of Columbus, Indiana. And this sucker was in the freezer. It is a slushy XL. So hopefully it, it's slushified. I don't, I don't know if I left it in there long enough. But you got gummy worms all over the can. Sour worms, because they're the better ones. Sour ones are better, right? I don't know if there's more. Is there more sugar in sour gummy worms? It seems like there would be, because you got to make them sour. I don't know. But man, this is dark. This is tart cherry, isn't it? I've had a tart cherry beer from 450 North before, and it was just like almost cherry overkill. So hopefully the lime, peach, and passion fruit really uh, kill that for me. But you can tell just by the color of this, that it is tart cherry. It looks like cherry juice. Smells like tart cherries. And with a n very nice lime presence in here. Uh, passion fruit, eh. Maybe, I can get a little bit of that peach, but ch tart cherries and lime are the main smell that I'm getting out of this beer. And just a forewarning, I didn't do any push-ups. I'm just gonna drink this beer because why not? And we're gonna we're gonna do that right now. Push-up free, gummy worms. I'm drinking it. As always on half ass beer review, little drink, big drink, cheers, everybody. Okay. Wow, this is different. Yes to the cherries, yes to the lime, yes to the peaches, even the passion fruits in there. Wow. Okay. Very present. It's very, very, very heavy on the lime. Like, I, I am surprised at just how much lime is in here. It's almost the main flavor that you're getting, and that's not bad. It reminds me of, like, a lime popsicle, like those outshine bars. Ah, oh, this is pretty tasty. After the lime, that's when you're getting that tart cherry presence. And it's almost just the tartness. There's a little bit of cherry there, but there's a lot of tartness to this going with that lime. And then that peach and that passion fruit really follow this up. This isn't as crushable as a lot of them are. And I think it's because of the tartness. Yeah, very, very much lime. Lots of lime in this. Lots and lots of lime. I want to keep taking, I keep doing this because of the tartness from the cherry juice. But yeah, very big lime up front. And you're actually getting that citrusy lime on the back end. Like when you're done drinking it, there's that citrusy lime still sitting there. But like the cherry, the peach, and the passion fruit are all right in the middle of this drink. It's very, very enjoyable, but nothing like I thought it was going to be just from like reading the can on this one. And I keep taking more drinks. I usually don't drink it this much on their show. Yeah, this isn't a big drink beer. I actually think this one is a great sipper and it's only 5.3% ABV. Oh, it's, it's very cold too, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Didn't freeze like I thought it was going to because I put it in my mini fridge. If I would have put it in the one upstairs or out in the garage, it probably would have been better and more chunky, the slushy that I wanted out of it. We got two beers. We got two beers in the state from 450 North. They just recently came to the state. It was the peach ring and this sour worms. And I gave the peach ring away and I decided I'd drink the sour worms one because I already had the face melt uh, peach ring one. So this is the one I'm drinking. And it is expensive. You know, $34, $35 is a lot of money for a four-pack of beer. Would I pay $34 for this beer? I don't think I would. Like, I just got a single. Luckily, that's, you know, the store I shop at. They offer it in singles. So I picked one up. But would I get the whole four-pack? I, I really wouldn't. I don't think it's that great. 
And honestly, it'd have to be a pretty special beer for me to spend $35 on it for a four pack. I'm trying to think of the last time I spent a lot of money on beer, like a beer. And it's probably the Cola variant of the Bourbon County because why not? And that was delicious. It turned out really well. And 450 North's beer is usually pretty spot on. But it's it just, you can't be spending that kind of money on beer all the time. I mean, I'll be drinking Natty Ice every other time if I'm getting this. You know, that's all I'm going to be able to afford is Natty Ice and, and 450 North 4-packs. So I'm definitely not going to be doing that. Now, for a rating for this beer, it's a good beer. I'm going to rate it a 4.2. It's it's not great. It's not even close to being great. But it's a good beer. It's enjoyable. You're you could drink two if you really wanted to at 5.3. It's not overly sweet. The tartness is really nice. Uh, I didn't expect it to be so lime forward, and it is, and but it's very enjoyable. Now, that's going to do it for this episode of Half-Ass Beer Review. Thank you all for stopping by and checking out a new beer with me. If you're sitting there looking at me wondering how you can help out, if you like what you saw and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And the easiest, fastest, quickest way, the best way to help me out is just give this video a thumbs up. That's all you have to do. But my favorite thing you could do is leave me a comment. Let's talk beer. What's your favorite fruited sour. Wow, that was rough. I almost tripped over my tongue on that one. What's your favorite fruited sour? Do you like fruited sours? You might not. I just want to know. Let's talk about beer and you can do it right down there in the comments. But until next time, please keep your fridges full and have a great night. <laughs>